Scareclaw, Kashtira, Manadium. Arguably the three strongest archetypes all put together in one deck to summon out these big powerful boss monsters from the extra deck. But that's not only what this deck specializes in, as your Kashtira monsters have their own negate, you play a ton of hand traps and ways to search those cards you are always going to be consistent with this deck. You play almost no bricks unless you're going to count the hand traps as bricks. If you haven't seen my face before, I'm Sila. So make sure you guys go ahead and drop a like, subscribe because it helps out the channel a lot. Without further ado, let's get right into the deck profile. In today's deck profile, we play two Kashtira Unicorn, three Fenrir, one Scareclaw Kashtira, two Visa Starfrost, one Rise Heart. Obviously, your Rise Heart, his effect's pretty strong. He turns himself into a level 7, which will allow you to bring out your Rise Heart. We play three Manadium Rheum Heart, two Scareclaw Ryuk Heart, three Ash, three Mean. 3 Manadium Meek, obviously your Manadium Meek is very strong because when paired with your Visa Starfrost it can go into some of your level 10 Synchro Monsters because even though he seems a level 2 his effect states that he can go level 4 if he's destroyed and he special summons himself back you guys get the idea. I play 1 Kashtira Rebirth, 2 Peaceful Planet Calarium, 2 Pressure Planet Race Off, 1 Primitive Planet Rykophobia, 1 Kashtira Theosis, we do play 5 field spells in the deck, so we are going to have to run in terraforming. The reason we play 5 field spells is because these aren't just field spells. They have strong second effects, but they'll allow you to search one of your monsters, like Pressure Planet Rathoth allows you to... It's really a tongue twister, isn't it? It allows you to search one of your Kashtira monsters, and your Rykophobia allows you to add your Scareclaw monster, which would be your Scareclaw Kashtira, or if you want your Scareclaw Rykar. And yeah, we play two Manadium Obsession, one, uh, two Prospy to allow you to search some of those combo pieces, one Reinforcement of the Army to allow you to search your Warrior Monster. I play one Scareclaw Arrival, one Terraforming, three Book of Moon, and three Infinite Impermanence. You can swap out the Book of Moon or any of the, of the hand traps for whatever you want. But it's kind of important that the ratios you see on the screen are the ratios you play. Obviously, this isn't... If you were to play this in the TCG or in real life, it's going to be an expensive deck unless you already own the Kashtira monsters because they go for big bucks. But yeah, yeah, so moving on to the extra deck, we play two Vicious Astraloud, one Bistil Dispata, one Baron the Floor, one Ice J Jimmy Adri, one Cyframe Lord Omega, one Excel Synchron Stardust Dragon, one Divine Arsenal AZ Sky Thunder, one Kashtira Arise Heart, one Big Eye, one Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, one Dagger for Hire, one Cross Sheep, and two Scareclaw Lightheart. Obviously, your Vicious Astraloud is a strong monster. You can read his effect, I won't bother wasting your time with that. But we do play the Bestial Spato, who also has a very strong effect. Your Baron will allow uh, an Omni Negate and a pop each turn. Your Ice J Gemma Adrian is very strong. You can activate this effect, face the monsters you control, cannot be destroyed or banished by your opponent's card effects. Then if you activate this effect in response to an opponent's card activation, your opponent has a card with that name in their field or in the graveyard, you can banish those cards. If a card is banished in your opponent's card effect while this card is in your graveyard, you can special summon this card. I don't think you guys realize how OP that is, but say they're playing like a, dis, uh, a bestial or Tailaments or whatever monster in the graveyard that pops an effect which that's literally this format You can activate his effect, negate it, do whatever Yeah, you get the idea. Cyframe Lord Omega allows you to help recycle resources and discard one from your opponent's hand Pretty useful. Excel Synchro Stardust Dragon, just a strong level 8 card Divine Arsenal is your Sky Thunder, yeah, you get the idea because you play the Arise Heart and Arise Heart can attach so many materials, your Divine Arsenal is your Sky Thunder is going to come in clutch there. We play the Big Eye to take our opponent's monster, x Knight to blow up the board, Dagger for Hired, pop one, Cross Sheep allows you to do some of your combos and Scareclaw Lightheart, yeah, helps you with some of your combos. Your side deck, play whatever you want, don't look at my side deck because it really just depends on what you're most interested for the side deck. And yeah, that's about it for the deck profile. I know this video is slightly on the shorter side, but if you do want to test hands from me, uh, yeah, be sure to like, subscribe, comment down below, and yeah, I'll see you all in the next video. Make sure you guys take it easy and bye.